this is right, this is right. My feelings come to life again. My feelings come to life again. I didn't care. I just saw what's standing here. And my feelings come to life again. She my missus is right. My darling from your nation, how are you? <laughs> how are we? My name is Fubite Saluvold. For those of you that have stopped by for the very first time, you are so very welcome indeed, my darlings. Do we live? Do we love? This masterpiece is by Tiana, the king of fashion, the reality star from Real Housewives of Lagos, of which is going to be my guest for my first ever podcast darling is going to be epic it's going to be grand joy it's going to be fabulous and she gifted me this fabulous masterpiece of which i live and love let me get up my darlings and show you oh my god tassels roses we've got satin pants we got the works are we living and are we loving my darlings i love it i adore it i love the 3d i was like tiana you're just too kind you should see the other pieces that i am going to be wearing on this channel living and loving we are having a meet and greet we are having a meet and greet my darlings i cannot wait to meet all of you to see all of you there's going to be food my darling yes there's going to be food there's going to be drinks there's dancing we are going to dance to diana rose we are going to dance to marvin gay to barry white it's going to be old school baby studio 54 circa 1980 you're going to live for it and it's all going to be held at the fabulous novotel hotel central london my darlings Thank you very much to our sponsors. Gerard Cosmetics has just joined the gang, gang, gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am living and loving. Thank you so very much, Mama. We have Juvia's Place. Oh, I die. You're going to live and love because the PR is coming in now. You are going to love Sane for the wrapping paper, for the Ankara wrapping paper. We also have wardrobe of beauty. Ding, ding, ding. Brows, baby. Brows. Skin tags gone. Dark lips the works I am living and loving we have healthy hair studio your crown is everything my darlings <laughs> and you already know we have tarot collections for the jewelry it's going to be so fabulous when I tell you magnifique magnifique my darlings we have Lula cosmetics darlings you are going to be ah you know what you are going home with a treat you have Lula Cosmetics, the best blushers ever you're going to live. We have Never Knowingly Boring. She's going to be there with her stand. She's going to give you the fabuloso, darling. Never Knowingly Boring, darlings. Are we living and loving? You're going to live and love. She'll be there with all of her hearts, my sunshine. We have Willing Health Colonic Hydrotherapy. Darling, detox cleansed when i tell you willing and loving my darling we also have non-profit organization and this is really dear to my heart they approached me and it's women that have had challenging relationships and i said come on through mama and they have beautiful wrapped chocolate sweets it's going to be a phenomenal event and now we're on countdown and I am just so excited. Thank you very, very much. For those of you that are contacting me and saying, Fumi, we would still like to sponsor. Go right ahead. You buy the tickets. You send me a screenshot. I see your name. I know some of you want to remain anonymous. Not a problem. For those of you that would want me to give you a shout out, let me know. Because I do still have some Fumi Nation sisters and brothers who are saying that, you know what, Fumi, if you got a free ticket, I'll take it. So thank you very much for everything. For those of you that are on my daily fitness live, we are growing. Ah, I'm so excited. I wanted to let you know right away. I have a Fumi Nation, which was like $5.99. Do not join that. That does not give you the exclusivity. It is the $12.99, the fitness every day. Because if you know, you know. Because apart from the fitness, I am showing them the brand. Yep, 
yep yep i'm showing them bits and pieces and they are seeing behind the scenes of my life of getting ready of everything it's not the fumination it's the fitness is the 12 19 because i'm out here every day popping it out for you guys hot 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 so let us move on my darlings you guys are fabulous i was talking to a coin Akoi is a girlfriend of mine. <laughs> Just before I started doing a Yorkies episode with her, her 65 year old boyfriend of five minutes. When I tell you Fumi Nation corrected me in the comments, you corrected me in the comments. I looked and I said, did I see Akoi? I said, OMG, yes, I did. It was because I was talking to somebody else and somehow I got it mixed up. And it was so funny because you could tell those that were from Nigeria, from Africa, the respect. Auntie Fumi, how are you? I really love you. <laughs> uh, I think the name is uh, Ayoki. I'm not sure, but I think the name is Ayoki. <laughs> then those who don't get one training. Um, correction, it's Ayoki. Get it correct. I said, ah, this young chick has the art here. Correcting big auntie. No sweat. I said, oh, wow. Then you have the Fumi Nation that I live and love, that really love me. Auntie, I just love you. I just love what you are wearing. Auntie, you know, I think, I'm not too sure, not too sure, I'm not too sure, but I think her name is Ayuki. Let me spell it for you. <laughs> I lived and loved. And then you have the Fumi Nation sisters. We heard it. She made a mistake. Let's move on. Ah! I said, you know what? I live and love you guys. I just had to let you know. <laughs> I let you let you know. I read it and I said, Fumi, well, you made a mistake. They don't know and they're correcting you so you don't make the mistake again. Another one said, Fumi, you made a mistake in the reading. I said, you know what? These people have never made a mistake in their lives. Never, 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 never. But Fumi, it is. You're on a public platform. It is what it is. I appreciate you. That's what I love. We can agree to disagree. That's what I love about you, Fumi Nation. You are class. My brother said it. He said for me, I watch other channels, but the Fumi Nation here, they're so classy. I said, what are you talking about? They're Fumi Nation now. They are fuminized. <laughs> we don't swear here. We just don't. And if anybody does, Fumi Nation gathers them real quick. I live for them. Young, old, men, boys, all of you are fabulous with such class. And you corrected me with such class. Let us move on to Ayoki. Ayoki, 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 Ayoki. And what's the other sister's name? Let me get it correct. Ming. <laughs> well, Ayoki has broken up with her boyfriend. Ayoki has broken up with a 65-year-old boyfriend. And um, it was quite... It was quite a number because it went downhill real quick. Let me just get the boyfriend's name because I am so, I'm so, I'm just so disappointed in him because he knew better. Ayoki Lee Simmons and her new boyfriend are over already. And the boyfriend's name is Vittorio. Vittoria Asaf. It seems like it's over the boot. Ayoki, I could have told you. I don't... I don't really, I'm not really going to go over you because you're 21 and you're excitable. You want to be an adult on top of which you are a celebrity's child where you've been terribly sheltered. I've seen 21 year olds that are so mature that you look at them and you're like, oh wow. And you have a Yoki who is 21 and she's barely six. I said it then and I'll say it now. Ayoki needs to go into therapy because she's pining for her father and trying to get attention. Talking about her daddy, oh, her daddy didn't seem to volunteer much. And I think that also just drove what I said. We as human beings, we seek validation in people. We do. We do. And when I say people, it's across the board. We try to please our parents, we try to please friends, we try to please boyfriends, and in so doing, you realize that you are getting tied up in a knot. Because the people that you're trying to impress don't care, don't know, or are unimpressed. Which brings you back to square one. Russell is only one year older than Vittorio, and apparently Ayoki met him out there in St. Bart's. 
And so this was all this, you know, shebang bang, although they're denying that it wasn't really anything, wasn't this. I'm not blind. I saw the child kiss Papa on the lips. And I was like, what is this? Anyway, Russell Simmons, who is 66, broke his silence on his 21-year-old daughter's shock romance with Victoria Asaf. And he says, Russell Simmons' daughter, Ayoki Lee, gave him a heads up about the relationship with Victoria Asaf before pics went viral. What did he have to say? Not much. I'm not going to kick and scream about her choices. Now, I'm going to go back to Ayoki. Ayoki, do you see... As far as I'm concerned, like I said, this is daddy issues that you need to resolve because you are still very childlike. You have to be tough in this world. And you have been, you are in a privileged situation where you've gotten a lot. The world is not that um, comfy cozy for a lot of girls. A lot of girls your age and younger. So you're going to have to toughen up. Upon all of that, Papa didn't really care. Papa doesn't care. Your life, do what you want to do. He's out in Bali and he's not trying to come home. Despite the fact that I have told him, come home and take care of family. Everybody has priorities. Everybody has what's important to them. Apparently, you're not that important or the way he finds your importance is not the way or he considers you a friend where he'll say, well, you know what? I did not know that you had sugar daddy tendencies. You don't even understand the response for me. I cannot imagine my father, daddy me, sitting down, talking, uh, talking on that level. I can't imagine. I cannot. Im I can't imagine. Okay. What did you say? Nothing. Okay. You don't, even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? Of course you are, right? I'm just saying, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna go. I don't know. I'm not gonna do any of that. You're just gonna raise your budget. Your budget's fine. I'm gonna be an ambassador for the meat industry. God is watching you. He hears you. I mean, I mean, if your higher self hears you. You know what the said is bad. You're not gonna do that. You just talk. Where's that boyfriend of yours? Is he still around? Yeah, he's not. He's in. He's hiking right now. Does he know I'll kill him? No. Do it. Raise your budget. No, you, you you guys should not. I don't understand why they glamorize all these people who have so much money and do so little. It's why should I raise her budget? Her budget. Dad, is I don't do so, so much. Most of you would be a, so all the jobs. But okay. What did you say? Nothing. That goes to show, like you said in the comments, every family is different. Every mother, every father, daughter is different. You say it in the comments. Some of you said, for me, no excuse. My father passed away and I've done this, that or whatever. Congratulations, mama, because you are right. You did what you got to do. You also said that my father was not, you know, he wasn't a factor in my life. I focused and gave all of that love to my mama. Talking about mama, um, Kimoga, what are we doing? Because I went on, on your Instagram page you want to congratulate uh, Ayoki on her BCBG uh, something something contract it's good to be proud I get it I get it but you know what you need to because I think maybe you're just trying to push through and think that this one is not important it's very important because why did it make news because something is really wrong here something is not kind of sort of right even some that were in the comment section and said, leave her alone. Let her live her life. Fumination gathered her right there and said, she can live her life. She can do whatever she wants. But we as sisters should stand up when one of our baby sisters is being used. And that was what Vittorio did. With all of this, did you think he was serious? Did you think he was serious? He just took the opportunity and had a good time with her. That was my gripe. Because there are relationships where they are 30, 40 years apart. But it is a steady relationship. There are some that really, really last. But this was nonsense from the jump. And the way the parents responded, it explains a lot. It explains a lot. Now you understand. A lot of you said doesn't fall far from the tree because Kimora was only 17 or 16 or 18 when she met Russell. 
I saw that in the comments. Ofum is about the coin because he was about to, you know, cut her off. I didn't see it that way because she's a model. She's getting money. She just got the contract for BCBG. So I did not see that. I just saw that it ran deeper. And it happens with a lot of celebrities. It happens with a lot of celebrity children. You have all the money in the world. You have everything. And you are depressed. Everybody, no matter who you are, everybody has issues. Money does not solve the problem. Pays the bills, lets you live comfortably. But it doesn't take away the problem. And some issues and some problems, money can't even buy. That's all I got to say. The good news is that they've broken up. The better news is that, pray God Almighty, she's home and she's safe. So that is it, my darlings. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button. And I am speaking to my YouTube manager because a lot of you are telling me you cannot find the join button. I don't know what's going on. I don't know whether it's because you're trying it on the phone, try on the computer, or that when you're on the phone, ask for the desktop website. Don't go into your YouTube studio app. I think you have to go into your Chrome and it is there. Yeah? try anyway try 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 because the join button should be there i'm also trying to figure out how i can get the link for you but i'll speak to my manager and then she'll give me all that i need to know all of my love my darling tiana is coming for the podcast and we are going to speak about everything i'm exclusive my darlings it's going to be fabulous 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 all of my love darlings i'll see you when sooner than later <laughs> Continue. Thank you to Fumi Nation sisters. I am humbled who bought tickets to donate to other Fumi Nation sisters. I don't want to cry. I'm hot. Thank you. Thank you. I don't you know, sometimes you Fumi Nation, you do things that touch my heart. You touch me. You touch my heart. And I want to say thank you. The unconditional love and support that you give me, that's why I want it to be the best. And I turned around and I said that I didn't want, I didn't want to have chairs. I'll pay the extra money and let us have tables so you can sit down and let's make it beautiful, you know. <sighs> thank you, thank you. I'm just emotional, you know, because so many brands are coming. As you very well know, we have Juvia's Place and they are amazing. I have collabed with them. They sponsored me last year. I asked them, they said, not a problem. We'll sponsor you again. They just do it, you know. They have wardrobe of beauty. They are phenomenal, phenomenal. When I tell you, they did my brows. This is the episode that we're doing today. We have Healthy Hair Studio who brought back all of my edges when I thought I will never ever see them again. I think the last time that my hair has been this fabulous was when I was three years old. <laughs> We have Sane, who I was just talking to, and she is sending this beautiful African Ankara wrapping paper. We have Skin Laser Premier Clinic. All of these brands are just coming. They are flooding. We have Tarot Collections. She's going to do my jewelry on the day. She made the Adrian and Ula necklace that I wear every time when I travel, you know. All of these brands, big, small, in between. What can I do? Where can I this? What can I? All of them are coming. When I tell you, Fumi Nation, that you girls that are coming, and women, and daughters, and sons, and, and brothers, because you keep on reminding me, Fumi, you got men here supporting you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Most especially to my sons, most especially to my nephews, to my brothers, to my uncles. The, the sponsored money maximum respect thank you let me take the opportunity to say when i started this channel it was because i was doing ivf and i couldn't have a regular job for those that know you know and 
Ula said, Fumi, do YouTube. And I looked at him and I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, Fumi, I promise you, this is your lane. This is your path. I see you when you're on the shop floor. Psst, 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 psst. And so many people come to you after work and you sit down and you talk to them. Do it on a global scale. You have it. And I thought, you know what? Homeboy is trying to be nice because we had another field IVF. To sit here and be doing another meet and greet to sit here and be having you guys talking about when are you coming to new york when are you coming to california when are you coming to Atlanta? when are you coming to lagos when are you coming to south africa you don't understand i could never ever ever have believed this you could have told me this and i'll be like you know what give me whatever she's eating because she's high as hell thank you thank you i don't know what else to say I'm looking for words I can't find. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, darlings, have you noticed my brows? Well, I got the wonderful opportunity of bumping into one of my fabulous girlfriends. I do have them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I saw my girlfriend's brows and I was like, these look fabulous because to be honest, I didn't care for tattooed brows. I just thought, ah, I don't like how it, it fades off. It doesn't look really real to me. I'm not really feeling it. But girlfriend's brows looked healthy, dense, thick. And she introduced me to wardrobe of beauty. Wardrobe of beauty is another queen entirely. I made an appointment. They were booked. I said, see what now? Let them know that it's Fumi. I'm an influencer. <laughs> I have half a million followers. <laughs> she said, we're booked. I said, what? We're booked. We're fully, fully, fully booked. I said, ah. And you know how it is. When you really want something, that's all you obsess about. And you can't go anywhere else. You want where you're rejected. Do you not see how we are as human beings? And we do that with relationships. The guy that wants you, you don't want him. The guy that's playing around in your face, that's the one you're declaring unconditional love to. I declared unconditional love to Warp of Beauty. I said, I'll wait. <laughs> I was upset. <laughs> I wait. I said, you know what? I'll feature her. We're booked, sis. Um, um, I can do reels. I know we're booked. Huh? I said, okay. Finally, I got my appointment and I went over. She's out there in Fleet Street where all the fabulous lawyers are. You know, when Harry came to come and, you know, declare one or two things is out there in Fleet Street. Beautiful beautiful in every way shape and form she greeted us you have little drinks and everything and the place is clean fabulous white you know i live for white especially indoors you know architecture mine is white beige cream i just love that aesthetic I'm extremely knowledgeable about brows about skin care i don't know whether you know it's hereditary i have skin tags in my family and i had over a hundred of them i take about an hour I pack all the makeup and I cover it, but I just really wanted to get rid of them. And she said, yes, I can do that. And I was like, you can? She said, yeah, we'll do that after the brows. And she also tell you, send in a picture of how your brows are, how you want your brows. And I said, okay. So I sent all of that. There was another beautiful lady there and she is the one that did the real life like hairs after doing the ombre because I didn't want it to be too harsh in front and I wanted it to be deeper in the uh, at the edges of which she did. When I tell you it did not hurt at all, we were laughing, we were talking because she will numb it for you. She will numb, numb, numb. You'll sit back for maybe 45 minutes. She wants you to be relaxed and then they will go in and then they will measure architecture when i tell you measure everything so that it's so that it matches your frame you can give her what you want and she will tell you what you need and she will tell you the brows are not twins they're sisters the experience was phenomenal and i go back in another six weeks so that she can really just shade in as much as i like i really love it because i don't have to wear makeup all the time if i wear a little bit of lip gloss a little bit of blusher i'm good to go i never knew because fumi nation my sisters you've been telling me this for years i've been on youtube for 10 you must have been telling me this for eight 
Bola is the best in the business. Well, you know me, I'm vain. <laughs> it has to be fabulous. I just can't go to anybody else. She is flawless. And I have a what? I have a discount code for you. Through me, of course. We moved on after the brows and she did the skin tags. When I tell you, because as you very well know, this is my job. I said, ooh, day three. And you, as you will see, I was like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Because everything started flying off. Darling, look at my complexion. Everything flawless. There was somebody who said, for me, you're looking very fabulous. Who, 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 who do you think you are? <laughs> I said, darling, wardrobe of beauty. Go. Go, just go just go you know when you want get like a smoothie like a mango coconut or whatever and they have like the shopping list of beauty treatments that's how when you go and you're like you know what i really did not think of that i really did not think of that that's all i'm going to say hola hola who did the life like hairs she will do one or two things i love my brows I love, I love, I love, I love my brows. And I will go on for top-ups. She, for me, is the best because it's the most realistic for me. This is how I like my brows. She Hello, my Hello. darling Vola. How are you? Thank You're you. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're most welcome. Fumination is so excited. So we're going to sit down and I'm going to have a chit chat with Bola first. And then we're going to have a chit chat with Ola. Come How with. long does the brow last for okay. when you do it okay so it varies um, from person to person but i would say on average about two to three years i don't go by trends because trends come and go i go by how um your face structure and how the brows will sit on your face naturally so you treat skin tags yes, of which do. i have yes i have some on my face i have some on my neck and a lot of fumi nation members have always asked me fumi how do we where do we go <laughs> for skin tags <laughs> <laughs> I suffer from them. Um, it's in my family. My brother has them. My dad had them. And um, it's something that I have treated over the years. Unfortunately, if it's genetic, it does come back. However, it does take time for it to come back to how it was. Um, sometimes it's through pregnancy. One of my girlfriends just had a baby not too long ago. Um, congratulations to her and um, she had them all over her neck however for her her went away so if it's um pregnancy it can go on its own however if it does stay once it's been removed it's unlikely for it to uh, reoccur again okay that's the beautiful ola this is the before i'll take some more pictures for you to see and we get it cracker lacking yeah <laughs> And we're also going to speak to Ola. Ola, come, my darling. Hi. Hello, Ola. Hi. Ola's from the Ukraine. Yeah. And she is a specialist, especially when it comes to those hair strokes. That's yeah. what I want. I don't want it just to be shaded. And herself and Bola work on a regular basis. Fabulous. Yeah. But we can do it with pigment. Okay, let's go. Hello, my loves how are you so we are halfway done and i just wanted to say it did not hurt it did not sting it did not nothing they had to trace out the brow and you do feel that but we were talking and chatting so i think maybe i have a tougher stronger threshold of for pain or bola is the best in the business at what she does i'm not swollen at all bola say hi Hola, where are you, my darling? <laughs> We're having a ball. I just had to say it. And my phone is dying because I forgot to bring the charger. <laughs> but other than that, we're fabulous. All right, see you later. Mwah. Yes. 
my darlings we are ready to do what skin tags and i will show you everything once we're done and for the next five days do we live do we love as we are done i don't know whether you can see i don't know 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 but it was fantastic absolutely beautiful all right my darlings so this is day one these are the brows this is what my skin looks like with all the skin tags gone they were very very tiny minuscule minis so this is what we look like can you see day five my darlings are we living are we loving oh, it's healing beautifully and now what I do always, my SPF, I always put it on. Oh, yes. Ooh. I'm busy today. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all falling off. And then as you can see the brows, it's all peeled off. And then I have this, which has to peel off as well. The hair is going like crazy. And I'm feeling really sexy with myself. Yes, I am. Uh-huh. Working out as always, drinking my water, eating my salads, minding my business. And things are kind of copacetic. Yeah, baby. So this is day five. <laughs> hello my darlings how are you how are we day nine and i am looking fabulous i just came out here it was one of those kaftan workouts i had to take adrian to school i had a meeting i didn't have time to change but i wanted to get the workout in and i just wanted to show you what i am looking like i am living and loving it is absolutely gorgeous oh oh Thank you for everything, Father of the Lord. Brows of beauty unmatched. That's all I gotta say. So my darlings, do not forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the notification button, and I will see you sooner than later. I will also do an update. This is part one, and I will do an update part two of the complete flawlessness because I'm going back in six weeks, and then I want you to see the skin. Let me come forward. Let me come forward. Let me come forward. I don't know whether you can see. And this was all, this was after what she had done. And my skin came back. I am so tickled. I am so grateful. Wardrobe of beauty. And then look at the brows. Look at the brows. Bye. <laughs>